Hey gang, Scott here. I'm gonna finish out our exploration of the creative tools in Luminar AI with the film grain tool. Now this tool adds grain to your photo, giving it an older film style feel to it. And it's good for lifestyle photos or portraits, you know, anything that you want to have that uh, bit of vintage feel to it. So we'll go through the sliders and you know, how they work. There's just a couple of them in the tool. It's very straightforward to use and it's very easy to see how it's affecting your photos. And really quick, if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're thinking about adding Luminar or any of the Skylum tools to your toolkit, check the show notes. There is a offer code down there that will save you a little bit of money. So let's have a look at the film grain tool. Now, film grain is our very last tool in the creative group. Let me open it up and expand all of the controls so we can see them here. We have three controls. Amount is pretty straightforward and obvious, right? We can add grain to the photo. And let me zoom in on this, uh, you know, this this you know, part of a Vespa scooter here, we can see the grain being added. I'll push it really far and you'll see it immediately, right? And this is you know, to the point where I don't want to be doing noise reduction on it. We, we tend not to want to add this much grain, right? But we can add you know, some amount of grain. I'll push that pretty far so you can see how the other controls work. Actually, I'll leave it pretty large there. We have size and roughness, and this is for the individual grains, right? If I push size, you'll notice that the grains get larger and of course they can be smaller and then roughness let's make that about halfway roughness how jagged is the noise versus how subtle or smooth is the noise I'll say the defaults are usually pretty close to where you want them to be and from there it just becomes kind of tweaking and tuning it how you'd like and so for this photo let me zoom back out here you know, um, I like that it's it's you know it's a it's a retro kind of um, of you know a scooter, and so I wanted to add a little bit of grain to it. Let's reset to the defaults and bring up the amount here. And I'm really watching. Let me zoom in on. The, I'm really watching my main subject here. I just want a little bit of grain, right? Just that little bit amount, right? Before and after. Hopefully that comes through in the video. I will tweak the size make those grains a little bigger maybe well, actually maybe pretty big you now I'm watching the photo I'm not watching the the slider as I make that change I like that but I may want to make it a little smoother you know that's that's a little rough it's a uh, it's gonna kind of click around here and as the scene changes that may be down a little farther than that maybe around there Okay, so kind of watching these areas here before that grain, after that grain, kind of a subtle touch. Uh, I'll push the amount up just so it comes through in the video more before and after. Bring that back down to where I had it, where I have about around, around 50 or so. No, no, the amount wasn't 50, the size was 50. This was uh, uh, maybe around here. Okay, now one other thing I wanna point out with film grain is that we do have access to the masking tool. So if there's a particular area of the photo you don't want to have the grain, you can remove it. Or if you wanted to target the grain just to an area and you've got those masking tools available. And in this case, for example, you wanted to lessen the grain. Let's go uh, softness, maybe a opacity about, you know, uh, maybe you know 30 to 40%, just to remove some of the grain maybe from the display dash there. I, I like the dash. I like I like these little this, uh, these gauges and things. And just to have that have a little bit of a, a reduction in grain right there. I'll do the before and after, before and after. So there's some there, but it's downplayed. And uh, you know we have access to that. And that's uh, basically how the film grain tool works. So you've got three sliders. How much do you want? How big do you want that grain? How rough do you want that grain to be? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.